Okay, so now we're going to throw you a curveball. Let's take this face at the very top and extrude it in once. Extrude it up. Then we're going to insert an edge loop here and here. And lastly, we're going to take the face at the very top, extrude it, scale it in, and the one at the bottom, and extrude it and scale it in. Well, you notice the whole time I was doing that, now, of course, the texture is all messed up. And the reason that is, is because if you look at my UVs, nothing really has happened here in UV range. Um, I've done a lot of changes here, but not here. Well, this doesn't happen real time. If it did, that would be amazing, but it does not. So, now that there are actual things in here that I can't see, let's take this for consideration. If I grab a UV over here, you're probably going to find that there's all kinds of messed up geometry. See how this, when I pull this over, now has things attached to it. Okay, and that's because these are now overlapping UVs. I'm going to do one more thing to confuse you, and then it's, I'm going to say, what if the surface of this was smooth? Well, now, if you look at this one over here, this doesn't even represent the shape at all. I'm going to go one step lower than this because I think it would be too hard to explain how to do it via that many. So let's go a, a shape like this. Okay. Just kind of squeeze that down and pull it up. There we go. That's better. So what happens? How do I get a uniformed uh, texture going across the surface? Well, we look at how it's projected, and that's how, how it works. So the first thing you need to do is think about how this object really is. It's a cylinder, okay? So whenever I have a cylinder, I use a specific kind of mapping, and that's called cylindrical mapping. And what I do first is grab everything I can that represents the cylinder. In other words, anything that I can physically touch in the front view. And then I use this nifty little thing called crate cylindrical mapping. So now I have a, a uniform texture that spreads across it, but you're seeing that the checkerboard pattern up at the top represents a rectangle, and the checkerboard pattern here represents a square. So now we have to kind of look at how we're going to fix this so they are both representing a square. And what do we even do about this right here? Okay, so let's look at the UVs. Window, UV Texture Editor. Okay, so if we look at the UVs in this thing, it doesn't look anything like this at all. So that's our main problem right now, is why doesn't the two match together? So if I grab the UVs, I grab the corner here, and I go to shell, I'm going to move this shell off to the side so you can kind of see it a little bit better in the video. And in the next video, what we're going to do is take and um, try to uniform this a little bit better to match squares.